Hey everyone, today we are starting a new 100% walkthrough for Assassin's Creed Origins. 100% means we're going to be doing absolutely everything in this game and picking up all of the trophies. Now this game, along with pretty much every game I play on this channel, was chosen by my Patreon supporters. So if you like the walkthroughs I'm making and you'd like to help support the channel, click that link right there on the screen. You can become a patron and you can vote on the games I play in the future. So, let's jump into this. Okay, so we want to play new game. And as usual, I'll be playing on the hardest difficulty, which in this case is hard. I am not afraid. Show me what you got. You can change difficulty level at any time by going in the pause menu. Magi from Siwa. I thought Magi was supposed to protect the Pharaoh. I am Magi to no Pharaoh. You see this? I can read my own name, Nat! We will find you. We will find you in your sleep! I never sleep. I just wait in the shadows, and I will kill you all. Everyone who sniffed the air that day in Siwa! Okay, press in the right stick to lock onto him. And then press or hold L1 to block. Like so. R1 to perform a light attack. So I block that attack. And just swing at him and then block. He's about to hit you. 
Usually I can get like one, maybe two hits in, and then I gotta block. I was proud to have fought the last Mechai. Oh, but I'm staggering him there. Oh, he showed his back. Oh, that was weird. I'm not doing any damage. Want to kill. Question of honor. It is a fight to the death. So be it. R2 to perform a shield break. So when he's hiding behind a shield like that, if you do regular attacks, you'll just bounce off a shield. You need to shield break him with R2. Get through that shield. Then you can bash away at him. Or slash away in this case. And squares to dodge. Terrible attack. Well, he's leaving himself wide open. He's making this easy. Thought you were a worthy opponent. Oh, up against the shield, but a shield broke him. There we go, get some hits in. R1 plus R2 to unleash a special power when adrenaline gauge is full. Anubis awaits you. Fancy kill. Alright, so we drop some loot. You pick that up with triangle. And it's a new weapon. You can uh, press the options button to equip it. Alright, so opening up uh, the start menu here. Has a bunch of stuff. It goes to quests automatically, which is odd because I want it to go to gear. So we'll hit R1 to go over to that. Um, and we got a bunch of stuff actually because I pre-ordered. So uh, you can see the weapon that I have. It's a quality of 6, it does 37 damage a second, and it's got one bar of critical hit rate. Balanced Weapon, a rudimentary stabbing weapon used by Philistine mercenaries. So if I select that, you can see my other options here. So there's the mace we picked up. It's a uh, quality of 6, 38 damage a second, so one more damage, and it's got one bar of adrenaline on kill. Slow, but very powerful. Do not be fooled by its commonplace appearance. This is a powerful weapon. All right, and then I got my pre-order weapons, which are obviously way, way better. Um, I'll at least use them for a bit. I know sometimes you guys don't like it when I use pre-order stuff, but to me, it doesn't really matter because they get replaced so quick. And it's not like the beginning of the games are usually very hard, so I'll probably just use it. So we've got this sickle sword. It's got a uh, quality of 14. Its damage is 42 a second, so way more. Actually, not way more. Those are 37. So not that much more damage per second, but way more quality. It's got one bleeding on hit bar. Its critical hit rating has four bars, so critical hit on it's big time. And then it also poisons on hit. Technical and deadly. The fang was designed to shred anything it touches. So we'll put that on. And then I also got a heavy blunt weapon, the Eye of a Pep. Uh, that one's quality of 13. Damage is 38 a second. It's got... 2 adrenaline on kill, critical hit damage is 3 bars, and it also poisons on hit. Though the snake does not bite, you will still feel, eh, you will still feel his sting. Okay, and then you could also go unarmed if you wanted to. Not all foes deserve death. In some cases, they are best vanquished with your fists. I'm not sure why you would ever want to do that, but I'm sure there's a reason for that. Okay, um, so we're good there. The shield, we also got a pre-order shield. So our current shield is the Medjai shield, quality 6, 105 HP, 1 melee resistance, a trusty shield, light, mobile, and good looking too. And then we got snakes on a shield, that's the legendary shield we got for pre-ordering, quality of 15, 126 HP, 
three adrenaline on parry, uh, three damage absorption rate, and poison on block. So poison seems to be a recurring theme here. The complex dance of serpents on this shield confuses the eye and protects the bearer. So we'll put that on. Uh, mount, we'll worry about that later. Outfit, though, we can change that. We have Bayek's outfit. The perfect outfit for a wanderer who doesn't want to attract too much attention. And then we got this Desert Cobra from the pre-down, or pre-order, uh, rather. You'll glide silently through the sand and strike as fast as the wind in this outfit. So we'll put that on. Okay, and then we have some other stuff. Uh, we got a quiver. Um, apparently, if I gather wood, I can increase the max arrow capacity. Uh, I got the gloves. Increased range damage, same thing. I need uh, different material for that. Also have bracers to increase melee damage. That takes wood. And then breastplate to increase health. That takes some sort of skin. And then I could carry his body if I want. Nick. No way out. And move it somewhere else, most likely to not get uh, caught. So if I stealth kill someone, I want to get his body out of the way so nobody sees it. Alright, so no uh, I need to find a way into another room. So we can hold up on the D-pad to use the Animus Pulse to find uh, items or things of interest. So in this case, it's highlighting that piece of wall over there. And I don't believe anything else in the room. Nope, that's it. These scallops must be coming from somewhere. Okay, and triangle pass through crack. Hold right on the D-pad to pull out a torch. Alright, now if we use the Animus Pulse here, we can see there's some stuff up there. And we can get to it by climbing this statue. And you climb it by just holding uh, the stick towards it and pressing X. And by stick, I mean the directional, uh, ah, by stick, I mean the, uh, left stick for your movement. And I was trying to jump to that ledge, but, uh, that didn't work out so well for me. Let's see, I need to climb up the front. There we go. Let's try this again. Let's see, to the back and up to the very top. And then make sure you angle yourself correctly, and we want to get to that ledge. So just press X, and he'll jump. Oh, we got a new sickle sword. Forgive me, Great Amun. I have we got some this. gold and some sort of material, so let's check it out. So we're going to go over to inventory. So you can see all of the resources, like your skins, and I think that's ore, yeah. So like iron and stuff like that, that's all going to get stored right here. Uh, quest items go here. We have a Medjai badge. The Medjai are the ancient protectors of Egypt and its pharaohs. An elite warrior unit formed during the Old Kingdom. They are emblematic of true duty, honor, and ferocity. Their badge, the Eye of Horus, belongs to those tasked with the protection of the pharaoh's people. As they were also the most trusted guards to the pharaoh, the Medjai are the ultimate protector of both the gods and the people. Alright, and I think that's all that's up here. Yep, that would be it. Alright, so we can climb down by holding circle, and not holding it, but pressing it. And dropping all the way is probably going to hurt a little bit. Or actually, it didn't. Uh, I'm not sure why I'm crouching. How did I do that? Ah, okay. So circle is also crouch if you want to be sneakier. So X to vault over objects. You can also hold X to run, although it doesn't go much faster. But that might just be because I have the torch. Okay, 
Oh, and I didn't check out that sickle sword, did I? I don't think it's any different than the other I had, but maybe. The Battle of Gibeon Blade. It's got one bleeding on hit, seven quality, 42 damage a second. An evolution of the agricultural sickle. The Kopesh was used by Pharaoh Shashink's infantry in Gibeon. And apparently I can dismantle stuff. Um, I guess I may as well do that, huh? Well, we'll dismantle this, see what it gets me. Two bronze, and we'll dismantle this as well. And the mace. Oh, not holding it. There we go. And that gave me cedar wood. All right, so make sure you break down. Centuries upon centuries ago. Make sure you break down the stuff you're picking up for material if you're not going to use it. Wow, two hundred currency there. Okay, so there is a ton of loot around here. Let's go over here to the left first. And just keep using that uh, animus pulse to get that stuff highlighted so you can see there's something there. And a bunch of stuff up there. The riches of the ancients. Ooh, got something purple. What is that? It's a trinket, an iron hammer. All that's missing is a bell and a song. Hmm. Well, I guess it's just purple because it's worth a decent amount of currency? Hmm. Not sure. We'll figure it out. That's my best guess. And we got some soft leather. Okay, and a bunch of stuff over here. Hey, something else that's purple. It's another trinket, a tambourine. You can't mess up the tambourine, or can you? I could mess up the tambourine. All right, um, so we can go the left path, or we could go the right path, or we can go up that broken pillar. I think we'll go to the right first, this way. Two hundred again, jeez. Yeah, definitely make sure you search this area. There seems to be a ton of currency. I don't know what the currency is used for quite yet, but it might get you something nice. Because most of these just give like three to six coins, but two of those have given me two hundred now. Keep using that Animus Pulse. Got some cedar wood. I'm not sure what that bag is. Let me see. That's another trinket. Leather bag. Recursion at its finest. I think there was something here. Or, nope. Misremembering. Okay, so that brought me to the top here. Don't think there's anything else on this side. Let's go down. That hurt a little bit, but it'll regenerate. Uh, let's see. There should be an entrance over here somewhere. Right here. Hey, some purple iron, sweet. I assume we can make awesome stuff with that. Some more purple iron. And what is that? Some sort of, like, meat? Animal flesh. Don't keep this in your inventory too long. Yeah, it's a good idea. And what is that? Getting all kinds of weird stuff. Honeycomb? Yeah, it's a honeycomb. The first person in history to taste honey must have been quite courageous. Carefully wrapped in oiled papyrus. Take a bite and relish the sweet taste. 
So yeah, it looks like the blue stuff is worth about eight apiece, or exactly eight apiece. Well, that one's 17, actually. And the purples are worth more. That one's 25, and that one's 40. So the rarity just signifies how much it'll sell to a vendor. Okay, and then we got stuff up there, and we also have something this way. Let's climb up here. Okay, and I think this leads back to that broken pillar. Yeah, okay. And the Animus Pulse didn't pick up anything new other than that stuff over there. So let's go get that. Hey, 200 again. Yeah, definitely check all these. Okay. Uh, let's see, can we go out this way? We can. Where does this take me? Ah, down here. Okay. Well, I believe we picked up everything, so let's go back up that broken pillar, and then we'll head out of here. And I don't think there's any more treasure. Pretty sure we got everything. And quite a bit of gold to start us off. Let's see, is it... Must be under inventory. Uh... Oh, there it is. Right there, 820. That seems like a lot. Okay, and I think we can, yeah, we can go this way. Aha, up there, light. R2 to drop the torch. Why would I want to drop it? I don't know why I would want to drop it. Oh, because I can just pull another one out. I see. And then we could drop that. Okay, uh, maybe there's something we can do with that to, like, trick an enemy to go after the torch, or maybe it's just nothing. <laughs> no, climb up. There you go. Cracked walls. Some weakened walls can be broken to create new paths. R1, break through the wall. Soldiers. <laughs> of course. Well, looks like we have a buddy that needs help. What was that? Get him! Oh! Wasn't expecting him to hit me. Oh no, I didn't block! I'm being bad. It is an oh, I'm not locked on. That's what's going on. Kill him. Kill his friend, and I'll take care of the midgite. Ow. You are supposed to be dead, and you will. <laughs> I'm like beating up my friend. Whoops! I keep forgetting to lock on. Obviously, I need some practice with the uh, combat. I see you have made new friends. They were setting up an ambush. It's a good thing I came to welcome you, huh? <laughs> it's been months. Look at that beard, huh? It's been nearly a year, my friend. Feels good to get out and fight. I am out of practice. In Siwa, everyone defers to the soldiers on pain of death. Or worse. I've killed one of the masked ones. The Heron. Oh, more. Mm. Come. It has been a long road. You need rest? Ah, uh, no. No rest. 
Not until all the masked ones' guts lie baking in the sand. God, I have missed you. Where is your mouth? Okay, and the masked one is obviously the dude he killed in the intro. Um, but if we go to the pause menu here uh, and we go to targets, you can see what our targets are. So there's the ram, the vulture, the ibis, the heron, and the snake. So the heron is in red. He's dead. That was Rudjek. Bayek trekked across the vast Egyptian desert to corner Rudjek in the famous bent pyramid of Sneferu. Bayek's first kill, the death of Rudjek, brought on Anubis's apparent curse on the Natron Mines. So, whatever that means, I don't know, but that's what's going on in the story. Alright, so that concludes the intro, and we're going to wrap it up right here. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.